Hello everyone, my name is Michelle, and today we're going to be talking about converting metric units using KHDUDCM. So these are the first letters of um, the prefixes in metric units. We start with kilo, and we go to hecta, deca, unit, deci, centi, and milli. And this is from the greatest metric unit, kilo. So greatest to the smallest metric unit, uh, milli. So how can we use this to convert metric units? The way this works is you start at the unit that you're given. So say you're, you are given a milli unit. You're going to start there. And then you're going to have a target that you're converting to. And say our target is a kilo. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the decimal from our starting number and move it to our target. And remember that the decimal in a number that doesn't already have a decimal is always at the end. So from milli to kilo, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six decimal places to the left. And that would be how you convert it. An easy way to check if you do this right is if you're converting from a larger metric unit to a smaller metric unit, your number is going to get bigger. And if you're converting from a smaller metric unit to a bigger metric unit, your number is going to get smaller. Now, you've probably heard of a lot of ways uh, to remember KHDUDCM. Uh, the one I've heard the most and is easiest for me to remember is King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. And there's also my favorite variation on that, King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. Feel free to think of your own, but what's important is you remember these letters in that order. Alright, so let's move on to some examples. These examples include the uh, three probably most common metric units you're going to see. So we have volume, mass, and distance. If we're working with volume, our unit is going to be liters. If we're working with mass, our unit is going to be grams. And if we're working in distance, our unit is going to be meters. Basically, your unit is the word without the prefix. All right, so starting with example one, we want to convert 15 liters into milliliters. So we find where we're starting. Since we're starting with liters, we're at the unit. And since we're converting to milliliters, our target is milli. So we take our decimal point, the starting point, and then move it to the target. One, two, three. And that is three decimal places to the right. So now we just apply that to our number. We have 15. We take the decimal point, move it three spaces to the right. And we get 15,000. So that means that 15 liters equals 15,000 milliliters. And since we know that milliliters is a farther right than liters, that means milliliters is a smaller, and if we're converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, our number is going to get greater, which checks out. Next, example two, we want to convert 3.56 kilograms into centigrams. So we find where we're starting. We have kilograms, so we're starting at kilo, and our target is a centigram. So we start our decimal point at kilo, and we move it to centi. One, two, three, four, five. And that is a five decimal spaces to the right. And now we apply it to our number. We have 3.56. Since this number already has a decimal in it, we're going to start where the decimal already is. If the number doesn't already have a decimal in it, then the decimal is always at the end. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We fill in the empty spaces with zeros. And that is our answer. 3.56 kilograms equals 356,000 centigrams. Once again, we can check by uh, thinking about this. Centigrams are smaller than kilograms because a centi is a farther right than kilo. And when we go from a larger metric unit to a smaller metric unit, our number gets bigger, which checks out. Next, on to example three. 
We have 8,432 milligrams, and we want to convert this to decagrams. So we find where we're starting. We have milligrams, so we're starting at milli. And we want to convert to decagrams, so our target is deca. So we're going to start at milli move, and move our decimal point to deca. One, two, three, four. So that was four decimal spaces to the left. And now we apply that to our number. So we have 8,432. The decimal point is at the end, and we move it four spaces to the left. One, two, three, four. So now this becomes 0 0.8432. And that is our answer. 8,432 milligrams equals 0 0.8432 decagrams. Let's check our work. Milli is farther right than deca, so milli is smaller, and we're converting from a smaller metric unit to a larger metric unit. Our number gets smaller, which checks out. Alright, so on to example 4. We have 0 0.018 millimeters, and we want to convert that to meters. So let's find where we're starting. We're starting at milli, and our target is meters, which is the unit. So we start our decimal at milli, and we move it to the unit. One, two, three. So that was three decimal spaces to the left. And now we apply that to our number. So we have 0 0.018, and we're going to move the decimal three spaces to the left. One, two, three. Fill in the empty spots with zeros, and our answer is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so, 0 0.018 millimeters equals 0 0.000018 meters. We know that milli is smaller than the unit because it is farther right, and we can see that the number in millimeters is greater than the number in meters. And we know that when we're converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, the number is going to get smaller, which checks out. Alright, so that's all I have for this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today, and have a wonderful day.